All right, guys, I got a 2021 uh, RAV4. This one is a push button start. Uh, we got electric parking brakes in the back here. So I'm going to show you guys how to change these brake pads. These brake pads are done. Um, it is not in any uh, parking mode, uh, service mode. So I got a different way of doing this. So all I did was turn the parking brake off just by pushing down on it. And you see, I'm able to uh, spin my brakes around just like that. So just turn off the brake, put it to park, turn it off and shut off the car. Part of this job, what you want to do is you want to put this on accessory and uh you just want to you want to you got the parking brake on right now the light, light is lit up you want to shut off the parking brake and we can start to do the job i'm going to show you any price you don't need to put it into parking mode a lot of people will tell you to press one two three press one two three but whatever i don't care so just have the parking brake off and you're all set to go anyways let's go start this job so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to disconnect this so you're going to push down on this and make sure you uh, plug this back in. A lot of people will forget. So I got this hand backward. Okay, there you go. We're going to push this to the side. We're going to take off this 14 millimeter here. Let me go get my right. So the customer did bring me some parts, but they're butt naked. There's nothing there for this. Okay, so no hardware, no nothing. So we're going to just install it. And uh, I'll probably take off the old pieces and put it onto that. And everything else stays there. Okay, anyways, let me go get some tools. What you want to do is you want to remove this 14 millimeter down here. So let's turn this it's going off and this is going to spin with it. So usually I use a vice grip to hold that from spinning. And this is the only bolt I'm going to take off so far. So if it spins again, we're going to tighten this up and there you go. Bada bing, bada boom. And this bolt will come off fairly and easily. Let's give it some time. Socket is crappy here. So it's a 14 millimeter. Ah, come on. Oh, that will hold itself there. So there you go. That comes off. We're gonna take off the white grip. Okay, now we're gonna move up the camera a bit. And what I'll do is I'll mount my camera like this high. Let me just set this up so you guys can see everything together. And my light is not on there. I'm really sorry about that angle, guys. So, I just want to show everything as I do and go along. And everything is going to bother me. Sometimes everything will bother if you try to show everything. Anyways, so what we're going to do is, if we didn't have this parking brake off, this wouldn't you wouldn't be able to do this because it's going to grip onto it. So just by putting it in parking, uh, uh, taking off the parking. So look at the condition of this little guy. And the rubber is all twisted, so there's not much we could do there. I hate a system like this. But anyways, we're gonna take off this bolt and this L on both of these right here. This one and this one. So we're gonna take these off and this whole actuator will come off. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna use this L and this is uh, five millimeter. We're going to take off this little guy and this little guy. There you go. Once we remove both of these, we should be able to just try to wiggle this off. You can even twist it a little bit, but I would just wiggle it off. This actual would have come off. It has a, okay, that's grease, so no problem there. Anyways, once this is off, you should be able to take off your brake pads. Okay, so there you go. Bada bing, bada boom. So this is out. And I'm gonna use this pad to get the second one off. There you go. So what we're gonna do here is, we're gonna take off this hardware and put it onto the new pad. And uh, remember, they go in the bottom, okay? So let me go get some uh, needle nose or tweezers. So what we're gonna do here is, we're gonna just twist this off. Just like that. I'm gonna put it to the floor there. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other pad. And there you go. So remember, the brake pad, if you put this brake pad here, you want this in the bottom here, okay? And you see this edge facing out. You don't want it facing on this side, like our first charge is starting to do it. You can do this just by hand. Uh, if I take both of these pads, 
folded like that. So we should be able to put these on just by squeezing these on. And usually if you buy a brake pads, try to get some good and make sure, ask them if it comes with the hardware, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is, I wanna put light minor greasing on this, this here, this here, any point where it's gonna make a contact to the bracket. And then what you wanna do is, remember these was to the bottom, you want it, install these. And don't worry, we're gonna get to compressing that caliper. So once this is in, the pad should sit all the way flush. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Okay, there you go. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, let me go get more tools. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this baby and compress the piston at the same time. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna use this uh, seven millimeter. It fits in there perfectly. And at the same time, I'm gonna use it. You could use a compressed tool such as this. And uh, you can even do it by hand, okay? So if you turn this baby and the caliper pistons try to turn out, you're going the wrong way. So you have to go the other way and push. You can't hold lock it down because then you can't turn. You gotta let it go, squeeze, let it go, squeeze, let it go. Turn and squeeze, turn and squeeze. So everything will go back together normal and fair and easy. Bada bing, bada boom. This is compressed in. We're all set to install this caliper back on. A little bit more greasing. And then we're all set. So I do want to check, take care of this piston uh, seal here. And I'm gonna put some lube there. But anyways, I'm gonna go get a cleaner. We're gonna clean these. Let me go get my greasing from the other side. Okay, so what I wanna do here is, uh, I wanna clean this pin off. And I want to clean this pin off as well, the slider pins. So I want to put a light one off. Uh, this is a silicone based grease. I got a video just on this stuff. So when you buy me pieces, try to buy me good pieces if you want this job done. For something like this, I charge about like 150 for these rear brakes on these electric calibers. And we're going to push this baby in. So it's all ready to go. But remember, we do need to get the actuator on. So just by knowing that this is the upper upper pin. So remember this actuator we're just facing just like that. So we're gonna just install this baby nicely and easily. And you might have to find the spot in this and that. So you can just twist and turn a bit till it grabs on. It should be flush. So there you go. What we're gonna do here is if you're doing the front brakes, you want we're gonna put this on. If you're doing the front way brakes also, do Two back ones and then go back to the front ones because you want this to you want to pump the brakes and then everything just for this to complete this and complete this first put the car back down put the wheels on put the brakes on and then go to the front ones and anyways this is nice and tight and this is nice and tight okay now what we're gonna do is make sure this line is straight and this baby goes in turn 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 and one more thing I want to do is, I'm going to lift up the caliper. I'm going to put a little bit of greasing on this little guy and a little bit of here. Bada bing, bada boom. All set to go. This is a crusted out piston. So what I want to do here is, I'm going to put some greasing on this too. So be careful. When you buy a car, make sure you get, you get it checked out. Something like that. Even the mechanic won't be able to see. And because you're going to have to dismantle everything. So all I have to do here is, everything is done. I'm gonna take my 14 millimeter here. I'm gonna lock this bolt up. And you're probably gonna have to hold this again one more time. And after this, put your wheels on. Start up, the, put the e-brake on, the parking brake on all a few times. It should calibrate and engage and disengage. Anyways, uh, don't forget to put the connector in. We still gotta put the connector in, but let me lock this bolt up. Do pay attention to your brake line, make sure it's nice and straight. And this baby, Come on, hurry up, hurry up. This baby goes in. There you go, it's locked up. Come on, get this done. It's locked up, and then don't forget, don't forget to put this guy in. And make sure you hear a click. If you don't hear a click, it's not engaged all the way. Okay, there you go. 
Nice and tight. Double check all your work. Take off your waist. Make sure you check this brake line. I've seen these brake lines get twisted, and that's how your brake pedal becomes soft. Make sure you use good greasing, good brake pad. Thank you for watching my video. Stay tuned, and I'm going to go inside the vehicle, and I'm going to put the parking brake on. It should engage, and it's engaged on you. So we're all done. As you can see, new brakes in there. What I like to do is go inside the car. Uh, you want to pump the pedal a few times first, and then after that, we're gonna just start up the car, okay? Don't worry, don't put it to drive yet, pump the pedal. So what you wanna do is, you wanna put the brake on, okay? You wanna put the brake on. So it's gonna wind back there a lot, and then it's gonna stop, okay? Then you're gonna turn it off. Your parking brake should turn off. I'm gonna put it on. Parking brake comes on. See the parking symbol come came on right there, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it off, and it should turn off. On, off. So do that several times. So what I want to do is I'm gonna I'm gonna put the parking brake on, and I'm gonna go to reverse, and the vehicle shouldn't move. Okay, it wouldn't move. So if I take it off. It's just starting to move. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching my video. Stay tuned for more videos.